Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back once again to the October festivities here at Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight I drink. So, day seven of the October festivities, day seven of the Fest Beer Reviews. We published one review video a day for the last week, so you guys can get a feel for various different Märzen styles and Fest beers. And have we saved the best for last? We'll just have to see. We are going with one of my favorite local breweries here in the Austin, Texas area. This is, of course, Austin Beer Works. Honestly, kind of kings of limited edition stuff around here. I really like a lot of the limited releases that they put out. And let's see if this is no exception. This is Montecore Oktoberfest beer. This is 6% alcohol by volume. And let's dive right in. Very sweet on the aroma. Mmm, man. Definitely a nice, sweet yamminess to it right out of the glass. Just very, very inviting, especially if you like sweeter style ales, sweeter style lagers. You're going to find a lot to love already from the aroma on this. That is really calling out to me. A little bit of tropical fruit in there that's kind of being mixed in with that sort of yamminess to it. A little bit of a spicy note that's in there on the aroma too. Almost like a baking spice, like a bourbon kinda. Yeah, let's go in. Wow. Out of all the Fest beers that we've done this week, this is by far the sweetest, by far the yammiest, I guess you would say. Is that a word, yammiest? It definitely has a bigger candied yam note going on for this Märzen style than really any of the other brews that we've had this week. So it, it's got that going for it. That, Like I said a moment ago, if you are all about a sweeter style ale, a sweeter style lager, this is kind of right up that alley. You're getting a bit of a fruity sweetness as well as a sugary sweetness, as well as a candy sweetness that's in there. Little bit of a vegetal thing that hits in the back of the cheeks, just a little bit. A little bit, of, a little bit of a funk that's in there too, dare I say it. But thankfully, not something that's super distracting from that sweetness. It is just kind of mingling with the sweetness, mingling with that sort of ever so slight dryness that the brew has. It's very refreshing. Oh my God, is it refreshing. Like this is the kind of thing where, <laughs> this is gonna sound silly, like I'm imagining pairing this with like a pumpkin pie because of just how sweet that note is. I think this would be incredible with a pumpkin pie, maybe even a pecan pie. It just has a certain dessertiness to it that's really, really good. But when I say dessertiness, I don't mean like a super sweet dessert stout where it's like, oh my God, this is diabetes. Not even remotely in that same ballpark. It just, out of all the beers we've had this week, this is by far the sweetest. And it's really, really quite enjoyable. It's sweet, but at the same time, still pretty balanced. And just a little bit of a pineapple note that's in there. It's funny, on this sip, there's almost like, remember how I was mentioning that it was a little vegetal? Almost like a pepper kind of vegetal, like a, a bell pepper kind of. But then here comes that sweetness again. Like the sweetness comes back through on the aftertaste, big and bold, like here, remember me? That's what you had in the mid palate. That is really interesting, I like this. I like how you wouldn't expect this beer to have really a whole hell of a lot of complexity, but there it is. I mean, 
that's awesome, I think. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's October festivities. I hope that you guys have enjoyed these videos, enjoyed watching them as much as I've enjoyed making them. So in the spirit of what I always close out my videos with, as you can see what I'm doing here, remember guys, take what you do seriously, do not take yourselves too seriously.